welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, the box has arrived. You probably saw uh, my last uh, video about uh, uh, wrapping up uh, some orchids for Inter. And maybe you saw his videos. He uh, wanted to send me a plant as well. Uh, he shouldn't have because I just wanted to give him a few plans, but he uh, said uh, no, I'm definitely going to uh, take some uh, revenge So he did and uh, the box is uh, Was expected uh, yesterday, but it had a bit of a delay, but today it's Saturday I will try to uh, post this video as well on Saturday, but it uh, did came with a mail There was something with the address, but everything went well So it didn't uh, arrive at the neighbors, but at, uh, at my home here. So everything uh, did uh, go well so far Far. So yeah, welcome to this unboxing. Let's see uh, what's in the inside of the box. I did see the video, so I know what it uh, what it uh, has inside. But uh, maybe you don't know, so that will be a, a, a surprise. But yeah, this is uh, quite fun. I never uh, did this, so the, um, this is the first time that I. Uh, well, actually, I did buy some plants from Anna Maria, of course, from Miracle Orchids. So, uh, but yeah, to exchange uh, plants uh, this way, I never did it before. So it's kind of kind of nice, actually. So I'm really happy what uh, what is in this box. I already know. Uh, let me first see if I can cut the tape. There we go. So yeah, this, it's a nice size box because it's a bit of a challenge uh, to put, put uh, an orchid like this one in, inside a box. But uh, he did, he managed to do it. So yeah, here we are. Look at this. Then we should do this. It's quite a, quite a box in, indeed. So yeah, whoops. Here it is. I'm going to uh, do like he always does, throw stuff on the, on the floor. <laughs> and I comment already that I did uh, have enough uh, toilet paper for the upcoming months, <laughs> probably. So yeah, just um, let me see. This one is a little bit annoying, but it will not stay. But yeah, you can see it here. So I'm slowly remove the uh, toilet paper. And it has a beautiful root system. I already uh, see quite some roots. And they seem well. So, oh yeah, this it's a very long root system. It goes all the way up to here. So yeah, to get it in a box is, uh, is quite a challenge. Yeah, but I think it's uh, doing okay. Let's uh, slowly lift it. And it's a little bit cold, but yeah, I don't think it's too cold, but you can feel it. So, uh, oops, there we go. Slowly but surely it's coming out of the box. Yeah, this is beautiful root system, as you can see. So we definitely can work with that. I see a little bit, uh, yeah, this leaf is damaged. Well, actually, yeah, I think maybe through transport. But it also had a old flower spike there, so maybe some water we can see just just a little bit there. And this leaf did bend a little bit, but that's okay. It's, the new leaf is coming, so yeah, I think uh, overall it did do very well in transport, and it's looking good. So. Now, is for me, the challenge is to uh, get this uh, in a uh, vase, well, at least the root system. Sometimes I see some people, well, actually commercial in shops, you see those vendors, uh, the whole leaf inside of a vase. I don't like the look of it and I, I don't recommend it because of the leaves, but the roots I will let put in a, a glass vase. So yeah, let's have a look what I have. I probably... <laughs> need another face. I will be uh, right back and we will have a look at uh, the two faces that I uh, have uh, ready. So I did grab my two faces. Well, I had this one ready with a steak as you can see, but yeah, definitely this is not going to work. It's way too small. So I went to a secondhand store this morning because I kind of knew what was coming 
This was the only one that I thought, well, maybe this is going to fit because the opening is way wider than the, uh, than the previous uh, vase we saw, this one. But yeah, then again, it's quite a root system. So I definitely need, uh, lead, uh, need to uh, soak this plant before uh, trying to put it in the face. Well, turning it and then slowly put it in the face. I've done it before, so it's doable. But um, yeah, like I said, I first need to, uh, to soak this fan now. So let's do that and I need to prepare uh, the face as well. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to first upload this video and we will later on I will do an update because otherwise I cannot uh, put this video online today. I need to glue a uh, steak like this one onto the face where I can um, put a vendor on and that will hold it into place. So yeah, that's for a later video. I will do an update, but so far um, this was the part of the unboxing. The vendor came uh, in a uh, good condition, in a very good condition actually. It has quite some roots. And uh, yeah, I will uh, now uh, make a room for it in, in the greenhouse and uh, take care of this face. So for sure, for, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> for now, thank you for watching. And uh, like I said, there will be updates on, uh, on this fender as well. And Insa, of course, thank you very, very much. You didn't have to do this, but uh, I really appreciate it. I'm really happy with this fender. And like you said, it should be, uh, be uh, pink. And it was a color that I really would like to add to my collection anyhow. So, um, Thank you. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>